What up, Ken folk? It's your boy, M.A., Emery Anderson, and you are tuned into Behind Bars, brought to you by the Saturday 16. So I thought, why not do something special on this fifth Saturday? You guys have been tuning in every weekend, and I appreciate the love you all have been showing. I see a lot of y'all catching the punchlines in the bars and y'all comment in the comment section. But I've also gotten some messages and some questions about some of the bars that you may not be getting. So what I want to do in this time together is go behind some of those bars. So there's a line in week one I want to hit first. Filling your timeline with fine rhymes, walking the fine line, find me somewhere between fine wine and prime time. So the first part of that is filling your timeline with fine rhymes, walking the fine line. So that's me communicating this first week that the Saturday 16s are coming. So be ready to see them in your timeline. Then the latter part of that verse is, I say walk in a fine line, find me somewhere between fine wine and prime time. Let me break this down for you. I'm letting you know that I've been doing this for some time and like a fine wine, as you get older, you get a little bit more refined, you get a little bit more uh, seasoned, you get a little bit more um, flavored in what it is you, you do. But then prime time, if you know anything about Deion Sanders, that was his nickname, Primetime. And I grew up in that era, Deion Sanders on the 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. And I loved his style and I loved his swag. And he was just very outgoing and, and, and had a lot of charisma, very charismatic. And if you know anything about me, that's kind of my personality. I'm saying I, I'm walking a fine line. You'll find me somewhere between that, that seasoned, flavored, experienced, better as it gets older, fine wine, but also the charismatic, energetic, swag-filled, confident, primetime Deion Sanders from, from the 90s. So there you go behind that bar. Now here's one of my favorite lines from week two. It's 21, let's release the drama. Rest in peace to the black mamba. See through the lines like a black mama. Keep running on, period, no comma. Yeah. Now this is one of those lines, if you know, you know. So it's 21, let's release the drama. So we're moving out of 2020, going into 2021. There was a lot of things going on. A lot of things in our nation, racial tension, upcoming election. I'm saying let's leave that drama and stress in 2020 and let's go into 2021 with a fresh focus on what this new year can bring and what we can walk into. Then I say rest in peace to the Black Mamba. Self-explanatory, showing love to the great Kobe Bryant. Then here's the line right here. See through the lies like a Black Mama. Now if you know anything about a Black Mama, it's tough to get a lie past. If they ask you a question nine times out of ten, they already know the answer to it. They just want to know how you're going to respond. And then based on that, that lets them know how they're going to respond. So if you ever think about lying to a black mama, whether it's your black mama or it's a teacher or someone who's over you, who is a mother of a child and she's an African-American woman, that's a black mama. I encourage you, just go ahead and tell the truth because they already know. Simply put, there was a lot that was fed to us through media and TV and social media and internet that I was just encouraging people to like, look, let's find the truth in it all. Let's not just judge somebody or put a label on somebody because they act a certain way, look a certain way, part of a certain group. Let's have some conversations. Let's get down to the root of things. Let's talk things out and let's find a place of peace and unity where we can land together. Do your own research. Take the time to hear people out, to get to know people, to find out who they really are for yourself. If you checked out week three, there were a couple lines in there that I saw a few of you all comment on. So let me hit those real quick. Uh, one's on my feet. Levi's on the denim. Dripped in all black fit mean like I'm venom. Dripped in all black fit mean like I'm venom. Now, if you know anything about comic books and Spider-Man and Venom, all I know is he's kind of the alter, the, the evil alter ego to, to Spider-Man. And his suit is made of this liquid kind of alien and whoever it consumes it takes over them and then now you're kind of outfitted and it's all black and because it's it's a liquid and then drip is a reference to like a nice fresh dope well put together outfit it kind of plays on both of those like a liquefied outfit but then i got on drip but i'm all black dressed in all black like i'm venom so fit mean so you got good and you got mean so fit mean like I'm venom fit 
dope like I'm Venom. Vi you, you, you get what I'm saying. All right, you got it? Bet. Let's go. When Jesus died on the cross to finish it with a sweet breath, then he pulled up on the three like a deep step. Probably one of my favorite lines from this month's Saturday 16s. So when I say when Jesus died on the cross and finished it with a sweet breath, then he pulled up on a three like a deep step. That's just communicating the gospel, the perfect work of his sacrifice on the cross for the sins of man. When he took his last breath and released his spirit, it was finished. So that's what that reference is. But then we know it doesn't end there. He rose on the third day, defeating death, defeating the grave, overcoming death, with all power in his hand. And that's the reference where I say, then he pulled up on the three, the third, like a deep step. And we know Steph Curry pulls up from half court, a little bow, 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 on a little shake and bake, you know, pull up, split at, you know, that's what he does. And so there's that reference there to him pulling up for threes. And when Jesus rose and ascended into heaven, rising on the three. You got it, right? Ah, 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 there you go, there you go. See, see, I knew, I knew you get it. Kenfo, thank you for tuning in during this regular Saturday 16 time. I appreciate the love. You all keep showing it. And guess what? I'm going to keep them coming. So join me back on my Instagram page at Emory Anderson next weekend for a fresh Saturday 16. I love you guys. Appreciate the love. Keep liking, keep sharing, keep viewing. It's your boy M.A. signing out.